University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more teams enter the quarterfinal fray tonight, chasing the first of the two victories they need in this stage of the competition if they're to qualify for the semi-finals. The losing team will play again, but on that occasion they must win if they're to stay in contention. Now, the team from the University of Edinburgh won their first round match with 190 points to Durham University's 155. They returned in round two to play the Open University in a match that saw both teams on 185 at the gong, with a tiebreak question going their way to give them victory. On an accumulated score of 385 and with an average age of 23, let's meet the Edinburgh team again. Hello, my name's Luke. I'm from York originally, and I'm taking late antique Islamic and Byzantine studies. Hi, I'm Ewan. I'm from Aberdeen, and I study classics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm from Brighton, and I study ecological and environmental science. Hello, I'm Emily. I'm from Wilmslow, Cheshire, and I'm studying chemistry. The team from the University of Birmingham have had comfortable wins in both their matches so far. The first was against Queen's University Belfast with 165 points to 105. The second was at the expense of St Andrews with 195 to 115, giving them an accumulated score of 360. With an average age of 29, let's meet them again. Hello, my name's Elliot. I'm from Derby and I'm studying chemistry. Hello, my name's Fraser. I'm from Edinburgh and I study history. And this is their captain. Hello, my name's George Greenlees. I'm from Plymouth and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Chris Rouse. I'm from George Spa in Worcestershire and I study history and politics. We won't waste any time reciting the rules. Fingers on the buzzers and here's your first start of a ten. Which capital city was previously named Bytown? after a royal engineer's officer who supervised the building of a strategic canal in the vicinity. It shares its present name with the major tributary of the St Lawrence River. Birmingham Greenleys. Ottawa. Correct. <laughs> you get the first set of bonuses. They're on British history, Birmingham. As Lord Chancellor, William Jowett introduced the Legal Aid and Advice Bill and made an unsuccessful attempt to suspend the death penalty. Under which Labour Prime Minister did he hold that post? Is it, uh, no, is it uh, Ramsay MacDonald? Ramsay MacDonald. Yeah. I think okay. so. Ramsay MacDonald? No, it was Clement Attlee. As Lord Chancellor, F. E. Smith helped to negotiate the treaty that led to the creation of the Irish Free State. Under which Prime Minister did he serve? If it's 21, that might be MacDonald in that stage. MacDonald? Or Lloyd George. Or if one or low. Lloyd George. Correct. Which Prime Minister first appointed Henry Broom as Lord Chancellor? In this office, he played a large part in forcing the Reform Act through the House of Lords. That was 1836. 1832. 1832. Edith, what, the Prime Minister? Who's that? Earl Grey. No, 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 32. Was Earl, Grey. Yeah. Earl Grey? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In a work published in 1789, which English philosopher proposed a philosophic or hedonistic calculus ah. as a means of... Birmingham Rats. Jeremy Bentham. Correct. <laughs> so you get the second set of bonuses. They're on the footballer, Johan Cruyff, who died in March 2016. From 1971 to 73, Cruyff led which club to three consecutive European Cups? Ajax. Correct. Cruyff led the Dutch national side from relative obscurity to the final of the 1974 World Cup. Which two South American sides did they beat in the second group stage of the competition? Argentina probably won, and Uruguay or Brazil? Was it 1970s Brazil? It was just 1974. Yeah. Argentina. And Uruguay or Brazil, I would have thought. Mm. I'll try. Yeah. Argentina and Uruguay? No, it's Argentina and Brazil. And finally, Cruyff was a leading exponent of what tactical theory in which any outfield player can take over the role of any other player in a team? Total football. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What cause of death linked Little Eva in Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, Mimi in Puccini's La Boheme, Smike in Dickens's Nicholas Nickleby and... Ah. Birmingham Sutherland. Polio. 
No, you lose five points. And Fontine in Hugo's Les Miserables. Edinburgh Goddard. Tuberculosis. Correct. <laughs> right, your first bonuses, Edinburgh, are on defining minerals in the Mohs scale of hardness. In each case, identify the mineral from the description. Firstly, a common sulphate mineral that can be scratched with a fingernail. Its hemihydrate form is used in mouldings and orthopaedic surgery. Yes, gypsum. Correct. Harder than gypsum and softer than fluorite, this mineral is the stable form of calcium carbonate at most temperatures and pressures. Calcium carbonate is chalk, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's calcium. I don't know. Chalk? No, it's calcite. And finally, this mineral scratches glass easily. Composed mainly of silica, it's abundant in the Earth's crust and has numerous varieties, including amethyst, agate and onyx. Quartz. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Using the mineral rutile as a raw material, the Kroll process is primarily used in industry for the production of which metal? A group four transition element with high tensile strength it is used in the manufacture of aircraft and sports... Birmingham Greenleaf. Aluminium. No, you lose five points. And sports equipment. Edinburgh Dale. Titanium. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses will give you the lead. They're on countries and their relative sizes. In each case, the answer is a combination of two of the four countries of the UK. For example, England and Wales. Firstly, Switzerland is somewhat larger than the total areas of which two countries of the UK? It's not really too small, isn't it? Switzerland? Isn't Switzerland? Switzerland's quite big. <laughs> no, it's not that small. I think Wales and... Oh, no, I want to say Wales and England. I think it's mm. bigger... That's... Well, yeah, I think it's bigger than Northern Ireland. Yeah, like uh, maybe Northern Scotland Ireland. and Northern or something. I, I don't know. England, yeah. England and Wales? No, it's Wales and Northern Ireland. <laughs> Secondly, Guyana is about the size of the combined area of which two countries? Oh, South America. Yeah. Yeah. Scotland, Scotland, Wales, yeah. Scotland and Wales? No, it's England and Scotland. And finally, the combined total area of which two countries is closest to that of South Korea? Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite... Where would add England and Scotland? Yeah, England and Wales. Wales. England and Wales? Yeah. England and Wales? No, it's Scotland and Wales. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see the flag of an autonomous community of Spain. You must identify it to get ten points. Birmingham Greenleaves. The Basque Country. Correct. <laughs> so you retake the lead and we follow on from the flag of the Basque Country with three more flags of autonomous communities of Spain with any helpful wording removed. Five points for each autonomous community you can name. Firstly... Um, mountains. Castile and Leon. Um, Andalusia, maybe? Yeah. Jesus, and Navarre. Navarre. Andalusia's, got the, Andalusia's got the snow-covered mountains. Andalusia? No, it's the Canary Islands. It's the seven islands that are the clue, and then these two dogs. <laughs> Secondly... Is that Galicia? Deportivo... Deportivo Pinculus. So it could be the Pillars of Hercules. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I don't know what it's... Um, um, what's it called? What's that? Southern Spain. What's Southern Spain called? Andalusia. Is that Andalusia? Yeah. Andalusia? That's correct, yes. The Pillars of Hercules are the clue there. It's the entrance to the Mediterranean, of course. And finally... Castile. Oh, Is it Castile, Castile. or Leon? I think it's Castile. Castile? Uh, no, it's Castile and Leon. Uh, rather obviously, uh, <laughs> from the symbols there. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Born in Leicester in 1971, the television roles of which actor include Mr Thornton in North and South in 2004 and Guy of Gisborne in Robin Hood in 2006? His cinema credits include, in 2012, the role of Thorin Oaken... Edinburgh Smith. Uh, Richard Armitage. Correct. 
Right, these bonuses are on Chinese banknotes, banknotes of the People's Republic of China bear inscriptions in five languages. Which of these is written in Arabic script? It's a Turkic language spoken in the far west of China. Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan. 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 No, it's Uyghur. Secondly, which of the five languages is written in a vertical script derived from old Uyghur? In a republic bordering China, the same language is written in a modified Cyrillic script. Kazakh? No, it's Mongolian. Finally, which language is written in a script descended from Brahmi? The same script is used to write Jonka, the language of Bhutan. It's an Indian. What? It's an Indian yeah, Urdu? Is that other side? I don't know. Bengali? Bengali. Bengali? No, it's Tibetan. Oh. Ten points for this. In international law, which city gives its name to a defence often known by the German expression Befehl ist Befehl, or orders are orders? After Birmingham Greenlee. It's Nuremberg. Nuremberg is correct. For orders. Your bonuses now are on methods in statistics, Birmingham. In each case, name the method from the description. Firstly, a method that tests the null hypothesis that treatment means are equal to determine if a factor has a statistically significant effect on the response variable. Is that the chi-squared test? I think so. The chi-squared test? No, it's the analysis of variance. Secondly, a method involving the building and testing of a model that can be used to predict the value of a dependent variable from the values of one or more independent variables. It's regression. I think it's regression analysis. I think it's regression. Regression? Correct. Thirdly, a method that explores the linear relationship between two variables wherein the coefficient is between minus one and one, indicating either a negative or positive relationship. Linear analysis? No, it's correlation. Ten points for this starter question. Prairie style is a term associated with which US architect, born in 1867? His later designs include the Johnson Wax headquarters in Wisconsin and Falling Water, a weekend retreat... Edinburgh Smith. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the Canadian-American author Ruth Ozeki. Ozeki is particularly associated, firstly, with which Canadian province? Her 2013 novel, A Tale for the Time Being, begins there with the discovery of a Japanese diary washed up on shore after the 2011 tsunami. It's the only one that the Pacific. British Columbia? Correct. Environmental activism is a major theme of Ozeki's 2003 novel, All Over Creation. The novel is largely set in which northwestern US state noted for potato growing? Uh, Idaho. Got Oregon. Idaho. 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 Correct. In 2010, Ozeki was ordained as a priest in the Soto sect, a major school of which broad tradition of Buddhism known in Chinese as Chan? Zen. Zen is correct. That gives you the lead. We're about halfway through. We're going to take a music round. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the singer-songwriter you'll hear. Edinburgh Smith. Bruce Springsteen. Correct. <laughs> that was his track, My Hometown. Your bonuses are three more pieces of popular music that take inspiration from life in their writer's own hometowns. In each case, I simply want the name of the band or the artist that you hear. Firstly, this band. The Specials? No, that's The Clash, Guns of Brixton. Oh. Secondly, I want the singer of this track, please.
Bon Scott. No, it's Tina Turner. <laughs> and finally, this duo. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. It is indeed the boxer. <laughs> Ten points for this. It is not from the benevolence of the butcher, the brewer or the baker that we can expect our dinner, but from their regard for their own interest. Which Scottish thinker wrote those words in a work of 1770? Birmingham Greenleys. Hume. No, you lose five points. Adam Smith. Adam Smith. Adam Smith in the Wealth of Nations, of course. <laughs> These bonuses are on a diacritical mark, Edinburgh. Its name derived from the Greek for division. Which diacritical mark indicates that two adjacent vowels should be pronounced separately, as, for example, in the word naive? It is similar in form to an umlaut. That's, that's the break. I can't think what it's called. Mm. Sorry, Pass. It's a diuresis. And secondly, its name usually spelled with a diuresis on the second O. Which constellation is known as the herdsman and contains the star Arcturus? Boetes. Boetes is correct. First performed in the 1740s, the pastoral heroic operas entitled Zais and Nais are works by which French composer? Was it 18 or 1740s? Let's say 1840s or Nominate Smith. Berlioz. Uh, Jean-Philippe Rameau. Ten points for this. Referring to the periodic table, which everyday chemical compound is composed of the element at group 1, period 3, and the element at group 17, period 3? Edinburgh Goddard. Sodium chloride. Table Correct. salt. <laughs> on salt. Right, you get a set of bonuses. This time, Edinburgh, on the muscular system in humans. Firstly, the vastus medius and the rectus femoris form part of a muscle group known by what name from the Latin for four-headed? Uh, yeah. Quadriceps. Correct. The supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor are among muscles located around which joints of the human body? Spinatus. Mm. Wrist. Wrist? No, they're in the shoulders. And finally, movement of which organ is governed by muscles including the superior rectus, lateral rectus, and inferior oblique? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the lungs. No, it's the eye. Ten points for this. In standard orthography, what accent links the Scottish Gaelic name of Edinburgh, the Italian words for more and Monday, and the two French ordinal numbers following first? Ah. Uh. Birmingham Jan Smith. Grave. Grave's correct, yes, all graph, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Birmingham, are on words derived from the Nahuatl or Aztec language. In each case, give the English word from the definition. Firstly, the edible fruit of Persea Americana. Its name derives from a Nahuatl word recalling, although unrelated to, the Spanish word for lawyer. Avocado. Correct. Secondly, a psychoactive drug containing mescaline and obtained from a species of cactus. Peyote. Correct. Finally, Felis pardalis, a spotted cat larger than a marge and smaller than a jaguar. Ocelot. 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 Correct. We're going to take a second picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. For ten points, I want the name of the artist and the mythological figure depicted. Birmingham Sutherland. Caravaggio and Bacchus. Correct. <laughs> so we follow on from Caravaggio's uh, picture of the young Bacchus with three paintings of Bacchanalia. In each case, I want the artist who painted them. Firstly... Titian? Titian, I think. Yeah. Titian? It is Titian, yes. Secondly... It could be Poussin, 
Poussin. Yeah, yeah. Poussin? That is Poussin. And finally... Yeah. Velasquez. Velasquez? Correct. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The surnames of which two artists spell Latin words meaning he remains and he advises? Born Edinburgh Smith. Uh, Manet and Monet. Correct. <laughs> Edinburgh, your bonuses are on works with titles that contain a member of the family Corvidae. In each case, give the title from the description. Firstly, a novel of 1992 by Ian Banks that begins with the words... Crow Road. It was the day... The Crow Road is correct. Secondly, an opera of 1817 by Rossini in which the servant... Thieving Mimetta, Magpie. The Thieving Magpie is correct. And finally, a poem of 1845 by Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven. <laughs> the Raven is correct. <laughs> let me finish that. Right, ten points for this. What general type of sedimentary rock is a distinguishing feature of cliffs on Skokholm Island in Pembrokeshire, St Bee's Head in Cambria and Orkham Point in East Devon? Edinburgh Smith. Uh, limestone. No, anyone like to buzz from Birmingham yeah. Greenlee. Sandstone. Sandstone is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on mountains. At more than 3,400 metres, Anito Peak is the highest point in which European mountain range? It's not the Alps, is it? It's not the Dolomites. Or... No, it's not the Dolomites. Okay. Pyrenees? Let's have an answer, please. The Pyrenees. Correct. The Brocken, the scene of a witch's Sabbath in Goethe's Faust, is the highest point in which mountain range in central Germany? What's it called? Pass, no, sorry. They're the Hartz Mountains. And finally, Mount Corno, located in Italy's Abruzzo region, is the highest point of which range? Don't check the Dolomites. Yeah. No, it's um, the Apennines. 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 The Apennines is correct. <laughs> there's about five minutes to go, and there's ten points at stake for this. Described as a relentlessly effective satire on masculine self regard. A novel of 1943 by Robert Graves concerns the story of Marie Powell, the wife of which English poet? Mary died in 1652 after giving birth to their fourth child. Edinburgh Smith. Uh, John Milton. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on electronics, Edinburgh. In the International Electrotechnical Commission colour coding system for fixed resistors, what colour represents zero? Yeah, white. White? No, it's black. The colour of the third band represents what specific property of a resistor? Come on, let's have it, please. Maximum current? Maximum current? No, it's tolerance. Which two colours are used for the multiplier and tolerance bands, but not the first two digit bands? Red. Yeah. Red? Red? Two colours. Yeah. That's gold and silver. Yeah. Ten points for this. The son of Mary de Bohan, which King of England was married to Catherine de Valois? He died of fever to... Edinburgh Smith. Henry V. Henry V is right, yes. <laughs> Edinburgh, these bonuses are on the Venetian Republic. Under Venetian rule until 1797, the peninsula of Istria is now divided between Italy and which two countries? Croatia and Slovenia. Correct. Under Venetian rule from 1392 until 1501, the city known in Italian as Durazzo is in which present-day country? Greece? No, it's in Albania. Also known as the Morea, which peninsula of southern Greece was under Venetian rule in the early 18th century? Nominate Smith. Uh, Peloponnese? Correct. 
Ten points for this. There are about three minutes to go in zoological classification. The infraclass eutheria is often known by what two-word common name after an organ that links the fetus to the mother? Edinburgh Day. Oh, placental mammals. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on animals whose names consist of a repeated series of letters, such as the dodo or the dick dick. Identify the animal in each case. Firstly, a nocturnal Madagascan lemur. Aye, aye. With a, correct. <laughs> Secondly, a South American freshwater turtle of the genus Chelidae, characterised by its long, distinctively ridged head and neck. Funny. <laughs> Oodle loodle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a matter matter. Uh. And finally, a long-legged bird of the falcon family, also native to South America, which has species known as the crested and red-throated. Come on, let's have it, please. <laughs> No, no, the lit lit. <laughs> no, it's the cara cara. Ah. <laughs> Ten points for this. Simulacra and hyper reality are concepts associated with which cultural theorist born in 1929? His works include Forget Foucault and The Gulf War Did Not Take. Edinburgh Smith. Baudrillard. Baudrillard is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, Edinburgh, on pastry, consisting of layers of phyllo pastry and chopped nuts. Which Middle Eastern dessert is covered Back in liver. honey or syrup? Baklava is correct. From a thin sheet of dough rolled around a filling, the name of which pastry is the German for whirlpool? Strudel. Correct. Also called a Napoleon, which pastry dessert takes its name from the French for a thousand leaves? Milfeu. Milfeu? Milfeu is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which stage work of 1913 has a protagonist whose surname rhymes with that of the 2012 winner of the Tour de France? Edinburgh Smith. Pygmalion. Correct, yes. Henry Higgins and Bradley Williams. These bonuses, Edinburgh, are on history. Which British monarch issued the Declaration of Breda, described as Hyde's masterpiece? It promised a general amnesty and liberty of conscience. Come on. George II. George II? No, it's Charles II. George in which II. decade did the French social reformer Olympe de Gouges publish the manifesto known as the Declaration of the Rights of Woman and of the Female Citizen? Come on. Let's have it, please. 1790s. Correct. 1791. <laughs> Birmingham University have 125, but Edinburgh have 220. <laughs> well, Birmingham, you, you took an early lead, didn't you? And, uh, but the questions didn't fall right for you. You're going to have to come back again and win next time to stay in the competition. Edinburgh, you only have to win one more match and go through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to you. I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match, but until then, it is goodbye from Birmingham University. Goodbye. Right. It's goodbye from Edinburgh University. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>